What is going on, everybody? This is, of course, Mr. Tony Stark bringing you some domination gameplay on the map. The Sims. Hey what's going on guys, my name is Steve and today I'm posting on Mr Tony Stark 717's channel. Now you may be wondering how I managed to get onto his channel. Well I can tell you it wasn't uh, anything to do with hacking his channel, holding his family to ransom or stealing his identity, so don't worry about that. Okay, so you may be wondering, cool, it's okay you've got a, a gig on Mr. Tony Stark's channel, but what are you actually going to do? What are you going to talk about? Are you just going to leech subscribers off him? Are you, you know, you're going to get likes and views and subs and favourites off him? No, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to bring back one of my long lost series. Uh, one of the many series that I've done over the years that I've failed to, um, I fa I've personally failed to uh, upload another episode of. And this one is Storytime with Steve. Now, if you can't tell what Storytime with Steve is from its insanely cryptic and mystical, full of secrets title, Storytime with Steve, then um, basically I just tell stories that are funny or interesting or have had some importance in my life and I just let you guys know about them, talk you through them, so, uh, just talk about what, what they're about. So far I've done stuff like uh, getting attacked by a lion uh, one time, um, being scared of thunder and lightning, um, getting trapped in a cave, all, all, all that stuff. You don't want to know about that though. But if you did, you can check out my channel. And I am just saying, you don't have to do it, but you know, I'm just saying. Okay, so let's get into this episode straight away. Um, this is a story I like to call G -g 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 Ghosts. That's right. Um, get Scooby Doo up in here, get Shaggy, get Fred. Get them all around here because we got a ghost story for you guys today. And um, what this consists of is me being with my buddies on a trip. Now this was a residential trip. If you don't know what that is, if they don't have it in your country or wherever you're at, then um, essentially it's where you go out with your your school for a week to some old historical place or something like that. And on this particular one, we went to a place called Sutherland Lodge. Now, it doesn't actually exist anymore. I believe they turned it into a hotel or something like that. But um, the general consensus around this place is that it was haunted. People, like all the siblings, would tell us that, you know, oh, don't go there, there's a ghost, and, and stuff like that. Now, bear in mind, I was in primary or junior school. Um, I didn't really know, like, what was true at the moment. I probably believe that Santa Claus was still real at that time, which he is. Any younger viewers watching, don't worry, he is real, and um, be good, or you won't get any presents. Okay. So, we were told that it was haunted and, and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, we, we, we didn't know, we didn't know what was real or, or wasn't real. So, when we got there, we were all expecting some great ghost conspiracy to go down. I think I was a bit sceptical at the time, because, you know, it's supernatural things, paranormal activities, I don't think... I would have fallen fallen for it at that age, but you know, maybe that was just me, I don't know. But I remember the first day we got there, we did an activity straight away, we got unpacked, we did an activity straight away, and it was orienteering. Now this is where you get coordinates to certain places around the lodge we were in, and basically it led us to several items of, of description, and we had to get it and bring it back to the, uh, bring it back to the house, simple as that. But, um, when we were out there, everyone was like talking about you know, the, the ghost and the, the spirit of the old man who who used to live here, who would seek his terrible vengeance upon us, and, uh, you know, everyone was kind of just talking about it, and that night, we, it was just, it was just awful, because, um, this, this girl, this, this, this girl who was, um, she was, she was alright, she was, she wasn't insane or anything, she had, she had, um, reason to be frightened, I suppose, because, I think she was slightly younger than us all, and slightly more, um, what's the word, gullible, so, um, you know, I, I don't suppose it was her fault, but, um, she had her camera, and she showed us it all, uh, showed it all to us, and basically it was, it was wrecked, the camera was broken, um, it looked like some water had got into it or something, but the screen was kind of all, like, all over the place, and she saw what looked like a train, like, coming towards the camera, and she believed that the driver of the train was none other than a, a, a vengeful spirit 
in a in a hat that was going to come and, and eat our souls. So that's what we, you know, everyone was thinking. Oh my God, the 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 spirit is coming on this train to kill us all. How 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 terrifying. Um, and then the well, in a couple of days, everyone had like kind of. There'd been a couple of incidents where everyone was scared. Like there was a slight draft around the place, which meant the the chandelier of the of the main room would kind of sway back and forth, and everyone was like, "Oh my God, it's the ghost moving it. He's swinging on it. It's oh God." Um, <laughs> but um, on the uh, the following days, I remember one specifically because it was kind of insane. It was um, just after we had our little like shower breaks. We only had like one shower while we were there, which is kind of disgusting. But you know, if you're not a, a germ freak like me, then you're all good, I suppose. But um, essentially, it was it was that night when a mysterious message appeared on the wall of the girls' dorm. Now, this particular girls' dorm was um, the main haunting place, the main room of mystical, and you know, people would say, "Oh, don't go in there. That's the that's the haunted room. That's the one you don't want to be in." So uh, we were all like, "Okay, we were going there. We don't want to talk to any icky girls anyway. Look, give us cooties." Um, but a message was actually discovered in there. It was, get ready, I'm coming. Now, the main thing about this was, ready was spelt incorrectly. It was spelt R-E-D-Y. So that obviously led us to believe, you know, oh my god, if it's if it's supernatural being, you'd at least, you know, think they'd spell ready right. So obviously, um, the great detective that was a, a, a quite an odd boy at uh, school, he was kind of like a nerdy, nerd, geeky geek. Uh, not a cool nerd, but uh, like a full-blown nobody. Like you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna start, um, you know, slaring off this this kid because he was he was okay. Um, right, let's get back on track. <laughs> Basically, did like a spelling bee type thing. He wanted to find out who did this, so um, the the spelling thing went down, and everyone spelt ready correctly, I believe. Um, so that obviously led us to believe, oh my god, if, if everyone spells it right, it must be a ghost. And um, in the end, it led to a lot of shouting out by the teachers. Um, every night we'd have like this tuck shop, sweet shop type of thing open, and the guy, the boss of the place, got so angry at us talking about a ghost non-stop, he just said, right, that's it, there's no, no sweet shop tonight, which was met by, no, you know, the old Darth Vader, no. Um, you know what I mean. Episode three, end of episode three. That was basically our reaction. Which like, no, it was, it was awful. Um, you know, that was the biggest loss in all this. Was it our, was it our minds? Did we lose our minds? No, we lost the tuck shop, and that was the finishing blow for us. We were just like, right, we got to stop talking about this. But it's still, I still remember it fondly because it was such a great experience. Uh, I'll beat the craziness. One girl. Uh, requested that she shaved her eyebrows off and she ran around naked into everyone's room because um, the goddamn ghost was so scary. That's how far it got. But uh, that's another video for another day. So, if you want to hear about this naked girl, you can go to my channel. And, <laughs> well, you'll find plenty of naked girl action. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, if you do want to uh, hear more from me, then you want to go to my channel, Sakotra HD. That is completely fine. It'll be in the description, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, once again, thanks, Mr. Uh, to Mr. Tony Stack 717 for allowing me to upload this. Um, thanks for that, buddy. And yeah, that's basically the end of the commentary. So if you enjoyed it, I'm sure Mr. Tony Stack would appreciate a like and uh, subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. He's got lots of great content. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will see you later.